welcome back beautiful people it's always great seeing your beautiful faces tuning in to another recipe video today i feel like fried there's not many days i feel like frying stuff because of so much effort but i'm gonna show you a real easy way how to do it and we've got some piggies these are porterhouse cuts and i feel like tonkatsu tonkatsu is a japanese pork cutlet that's probably the best one. No German, no English, nothing. The Japanese do it the best. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make my tonkotsu. Kick back, relax, and enjoy the content. It's super thick, two fingers thick, because I got this custom cut at the butcher. At the supermarket, I just asked the butchery guy. Very nice guy, super awesome. Shout out to the carpety butcher. You know who you are. If you don't know him, get to know him. He's a real good guy. So, First step is, we need to get this pork super dry. Since we're deep frying, the water's gonna interact with the oil, and it's gonna go pop, 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 pop. It's gonna feel like you're in a drive-by. Before we do any other prep, we need to do the oil. I've got some rice bran oil, you can use canola oil and whatever. Make sure you get a deep pot, and we wanna deep fry our fillet. Try this on medium heat, and then just leave it 10 minutes, it will come up to 10 perfectly. You can cut this off like I'm doing at the moment, we're not trimming everything off, we're just giving like a little haircut. Just a little bit off the top please. Next step, we're gonna go make some incisions in the fat. These little incisions are the world in keeping our crust together on the pork. And not bubbling and everything. You'll always get bubbling, but you'll get separation if you don't do this. You see this little accordion vibe we have going on at the moment? This is exactly what we want. All this accordion little incisions will help the pork spread and not like split in the middle. It's about to be tonkatsu. You can see thin. It still has a bit of thickness because we want to keep this juicy. Flour, just normal, regular schmegler, plain flour. And we need flour to make everything else stick to the pork. Next up is two eggs. Let's try, see if we get it. Butchering this. One, two, that was okay. Give that a little mixy mix, 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 mix. Japanese panko breadcrumbs. I love using the Japanese ones because they're so much better. Look at the packaging, colorful. Look at the breading, beautiful. On a plate, because I think it's easier just to bread everything. There we go. We want a decent amount, we don't want to skimp on this. Flour, egg, breadcrumb over this way. 10 minutes is up, that's good. We're hitting the meat with salt and pepper, not the flour, not nothing. Because if you fry anything, it does become tasteless. And you can still salt it after it's come out of the fryer. But bro, salt the meat, salt whatever you're, you're doing. Pork. In. And we need a dry hand and a wet hand. Just chuck in the flour, chuck in the egg, chuck in the crumb, chuck in the fryer. Just pure white at the moment, no color. Really get the egg in every single bit that got flour on it, which is everywhere. And we really want to take our time to get all or as much of the egg off as possible. Just layer it down. Now back with the dry hand. Serenade the pork. It's about to be fried, bro. When you're frying stuff, you want a thermo to test the temp. We want to fry this around 175 Celsius and that's going to ensure the inside gets cooked and we have a golden exterior. 172 for me is good enough. Shake the cutlet off, shake, 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 shake. And slowly lay the cutlet away from you. Away, away, away. Slowly drop it in. Boom. Give it three minutes and we're going to flip it. So if you're following me, following this recipe, be careful. Just like that. Another three minutes and then we're done. Six minutes all up and here's our tonkatsu. Wow, look at that color. Look at everything, I'm so excited. I've got a draining rack. Chuck it on, let it rest. Give it like two minutes. Okay, let's make our plate. White plate, a loaded rice. Chuck it up, give it a couple taps. Tap, 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 tap. Rice house. I hope you guys can hear it. And this is how we're looking inside. Juicy and delicious. Cut it into some decent sized chunks. You can follow the guides that you set for yourself. That makes it easy, but shh, shh, shh. We wanna hear this, man. That 
is tonkatsu perfection. Everything on the knife, everything on the plate. We're going with cabbage. Traditional. Traditional side for a tonkatsu. I love how they do this with lemon. They serve it with lemon. So I'm going to go two. I've got a little bit of empty space. I'm going to go here. There we go. That's a whole plate. That's a wholesome plate. Last step. Tonkatsu sauce. This is so delicious. Bulldog is the brand. Find it at the Asian grocery, Asian supermarket. And generously, all over your tonkatsu. Don't be shy with this. This stuff is gold. Literal gold. It needs to look like that. And friends, we are done. We're done. We're done. Guys, this is my tonkatsu. Oh my god. I love this recipe. I love eating tonkatsu. We have lemon. Chuck that on the cabbage. I love lemony cabbage. Mmm. Some I seen some Japanese people put it on the tonkatsu. Not really a fan of that. It kind of goes a little bit a little bit soggy, a little bit quick. But if you're into that, go hard. Go hard. I will judge. Lemon on the cabbage for that acidic reset, the palate reset. Once that's done, I've got some of these to stay authentic with it. And I'm gonna try the rice first. There's a little, oh, but I gotta, hmm. I won't try the rice first. <laughs> I wouldn't need to try the tonkatsu first. Try the tonkatsu first, man, you need to. Okay, here we go. This is how we're looking. This is how the tonkatsu is looking. Juicy, delicious pork. You can see not too much space in between the breading. Very good job. I recommend get a thicker piece of pork as well because this was real thick. If you have a thinner piece, it will probably take like a minute and a half each side. Just know that, okay? Now, this bite is for each and every one of you beautiful people continuing to support the grind. I am doing it and I will do it and it's all thanks to each one of you watching regardless if you if you're watching me for love or if you're watching me for hate want to learn some things or two but that doesn't matter each and every single one of my lovers get to enjoy this bite with me mm. 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 Wow Easily the best one I've made. This is the first time I've done something so thick. And it makes a massive difference. We need to finish this with some rice. Mm. A little bit of garlic rice. I told you guys I need garlic in each and every single one of my uh, foods. It needs to make an appearance. It's the main character. Now. I'm ready for another tonkotsu bite. Finish it with the cabbage, lemony cabbage, to reset. Mmm. Just so bright. Mmm. Reset. Okay. Next one. Come on. The dip and flavor from that sauce. If you want, go with some of that with the cabbage. It clashes, but it doesn't. Get some of that tonkatsu sauce with your rice. And we're just having a fiesta. Going around, only three things on the plate. But we're going around in such a fucking happy merry-go-round that I don't want to end. If you make this, you wouldn't want it to end as well. Next one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you can see it. You can see it. You can totally see it. Again, with the rice. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. Man. Mmm. Okay, let's go again. Pork. Cabbage. Mmm. 
Hold on, hold on. Reset. Back at it again. Mm. Rice. Rice with sauce. Mm. Seriously. Next level. And who would have thought something so simple? That gets overlooked so much here. No one likes a deep fried cutlet. But people like it. No one likes it, but people like it. I don't know. It has the rep for being like a poor food, bro. Wholesome food. Wholesome. Mean. Some fried food that's not KFC. And mean. Mean. Mmm. Okay. Last one right here. All right, I need a little bit of cabbage. And you see, it looked like heaps of cabbage, but I need to re-up on some cabbage. Yo, listen. I'm just eating mana. Last one, okay? Oh. Last one. I could go all day. If there's an all-you-can-eat tonkatsu spot in Japan, let me know. When I go and visit, I want to try it. I'll spend a whole shift there, eight hours. Mm, okay. I'll finish it with some cabbage. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. I'm going to leave you all right there. This was so fun to make. And my energy is just different. It's lighter. Man, I'm having fun. It's the Christmas season. Check out my Instagram, TikTok, all in the link in the description. Follow me on there. Follow the journey. We're only getting bigger, better, better looking. I'll see all of you on the next one. Mwah.